bunch of spineless cowards and are just rolling over basically and playing dead is should tell you a lot. Should tell you a hell of a lot. <laughs>
expert on the re on the recorded music from way back, you know, collecting, and I'm not even a collector, I just, you know, I don't own the records, but I know of the existence of the records, like many of us do, I'm, I own some of the records, but uh, not cold, uh, all throughout that era, that's why well. John Parker, Johnny Mathis, Ray Charles, to today's stream it is january 1st of 2022 it is a new year and i promise we are doing a new type of stream that we haven't done before uh we'll see how it goes hopefully i don't get bombarded with copyright strikes i don't know how he would uh because we're not sharing audio we're not sharing video but the main principle of the stream is around uh cowboy bebop in case you didn't read title or you didn't read the tweet or whatever uh we are watching cowboy bebop together i have provided three separate links in chat so those are three links that i know work it's one for netflix one for funimation and one for adult swim adult swim there's limitations to i mean there's limitations to all of them except for funimation i believe um funimation will probably will run ads so that's a bit of an issue there um, Netflix, you're good, and I believe Adult Swim would be good. But Adult Swim, if you're in um, the United States, it'll work fine for you outside the United States. I'm not sure about that, so you're probably better off to use Netflix uh, or Funimation. Of course, if you have your own ways of watching this, uh, go ahead and do so. Uh, I'm going to switch screens right now real quick. Boom, there you go. I'm gonna turn off the chat box so you don't need the links on screen. It's still all the same stuff as it was before. Uh, everything is as it were when we were preparing it last stream. Um, is still playing in the background, so that's good. Uh, I can't hear that, so you guys gotta let me know if it's too loud. Um, so basically, we're gonna watch uh, anywhere from 
three episodes, which is about 70 minutes, to six episodes. Somewhere in there, once we get to two hours, we'll be done. Basically, we're just going to watch it together. I'm going to tell you guys when I hit play. Um, I'm also going to put on the animation that we made yesterday uh, for episode one when I hit play. That way, uh, there's at least a little bit of a connection there. Regardless of that, I wasn't able to make a timer in time, and then I was concerned that the timer might break shit because of the way it works. It uses a third-party software to keep it live. Um, we're watching Comic Bebop because it's a series I've watched before. Um, so I have I make commentary on it and not get engaged with it 100% uh, and not be able to talk to you guys. So there will be talking, of course. I mean mute me or stop listening to the the channel or the twitch if you want to just watch the series at some point you know it's a good series um of course if you're not using the links i provide in chat and you're using an alternative site i will make the comment just for twitch's sake that um it's a good idea to support artists in this case animators and the studios that hire them uh, I would recommend, you know, doing the good thing and watching it the legal way. But, of course, it's not possible for everyone who live in fucking Uruguay or something like that. It might be difficult for you to watch anime. Other than that, um, if all goes well, we'll try some other series. I have um, some ideas about doing a Drifters watch along. I mentioned that last stream because... It's a really good animated series. Uh, it's only got one season, and it's actually fewer episodes than Cowboy Bebop, and I would really like it to gain more populator, popularity and maybe get a second season. Um, other than nothing really else besides that. Uh, of course, if you guys have any recommendations for what other series we can watch together or um, ideas of how we can change up how we do the watch alongs uh let me know in chat on twitter and everything else of course um try to think if there's anything else that i'm missing out here all right hopefully you all have your sites of choice ready we're gonna just try and get this running you're not gonna be able to hear the audio on this end and you're not gonna be able to see the video so you need to have them open this every time uh, obviously there's copyright issues if i left the audio on and or the video on um, is there anything else? I don't think so. I think we're all good now. All right. I might turn down the volume on my mic a little bit so that way I'm not crazy loud. There you go. All right. I'm gonna give it to the first episode. Asteroid Blues, first episode. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, I'm the Cow 10, I'm gonna hit play, and then you guys can hit play as well. Oh, I should also include, um, there is mild nudity and smoking um, in the series. If you haven't watched, excuse me, if you haven't watched it before and that, you know, that's a, a deal breaker. Um, just like, you know, there is smoking and there is, um, minor violence, I would say. I don't really think there's anything that really could be described as major violence or whatever. Um, so yeah, we're on ep season one, episode one. There's obviously only one season, uh, Asteroid Blues. Uh, I'm going to put on the little graphic for you guys so you guys can keep in touch with that. I'm going to hit play in 10, 9, 8 seven six five four three two one there you go there's the image that i use for the background that you guys have there the b-roll obviously there was color changes done to it Became more purple and stuff, but <laughs> I 
Fuck. No, we never skipped the out the intro. By the way, we're never gonna do that. Um, I just want to make. Man, I fucking I love this series. I think it's there's so much shit that's good about Cowboy Bebop. And I I'm trying to think, if there's any. There's not a lot of animated series that run or are written in a similar way. A lot of people make the comparison with Space Dandy because it's still science fiction and the, the way Spike is and the way that Dandy is is similar, but Dandy's like a um, an exaggeration of Spike. He's not He's not that close to Spike, I would say. I think, obviously, because Scout would be about, Spike has a little bit of Lupin the Third energy. I'm pretty sure there was designs where he pretty much just looks exactly like Lupin with a beard or something. Um, Lupin the Third, I guess, is a good recommendation. Um, pretty sure I have stuff written down. Let me see what I, I've written down when I did my, started writing my reviews. There's my... Oh, yeah, we gotta get to season five, uh, episode five. Episode five is my favorite one. Uh, the fighting, here's what I wrote. Make a little box is good for the fighting and animation. It's got the similar weight. Samurai shampoo has the same kind of looks and rhythm. In terms of how the music plays. Lupin for characteristics and mannerisms. Astra is a good short sci-fi series. Uh, Berserk, a world that cares a little for the protag. And then genre-breaking sci-fi, I put as Space Dandy. So there's, not, there's really not much that you can watch that I'm aware of that's similar to Bebop. Bebop is unique still. Ooh. Man, people have there's a lot of different recipes for cat, uh, for bell peppers and beef. I've looked it up before. I think what I like a lot about this series is it's grounded. There's reality in it. Like the fact that they're they're not able to eat like fucking beef and shit. Like they they're really fucked up on food constantly. They're running out of money, and even the food that they do eat is like super cheap shit even today. Like that makes sense to me. Like that's that's a reality that I don't think enough science fiction series um tv film book whatever share because i still think in a few hundred years we're still gonna be eating fucking ramen a few hundred years ago we were still eating ramen you know like what's cheap now will probably end up being cheap later too there's the exceptions like lobster and stuff but that's because of Quantity, uh, quantity management, diamonds as well. Diamonds, there's a lot of it, but because it's managed to only be a certain way. I also like how they get like like the here's an unnecessary detail that just happened. They're getting they have to pay a fee to cross through these fucking gateways. Like that makes sense to me. Notice how the sound cuts out when they're out in space. It's just spike and it's kind of like hollowed and echoed. Every sound is muted.
Yeah, like it's just there's a lot of reality in this show for for a series that is science fiction. You kind of go in and, and expect a a limited, a very limited amount of reality. Like you, the cities are like crummy. Like they've got like culture. They got like some dirt to them. They're not all clean, and they're they're not. They're also not like. The, in some series, like you have Blade Runner, for example, it's like fucking desolate and then city. Like this is just like a cruddy like, kind of town going on. And like this old like wooden bar or whatever is in like hyper sci-fi. Like this entire scene could be placed outside of sci-fi, outside of, it could be just seen as a Western. Damn. Fucking bloody eyes gross. It's fucking idea of spraying some fucking liquid into your eyes through a needle. I don't get how this guy's able to dodge all this shit. I get I understand he's got like red eye, but what the fuck does red eye do? Just like fucks you up big time. My face is so fucked. It's a good meme though. So I like the natives. I know they're kind of a stereotype in the series, but I, I find them I find that guy interesting. In the movie, I like the movie a lot. By the way, if you've if you've watched the series and you haven't watched the film, that that's very good. Maybe one of these days we can do the film, but I don't know. That guy's fucking dead. I 
I think there's only one instance in this entire series where I felt a disconnect that I'm fairly certain was caused by the translation for Japanese English. Oh, there's the fucking... You can see the graphic, or what I use as reference for the uh, uh, ending soon screen. Your bathroom stall is covered in crud. There's not enough dirt in sci-fi, in my opinion. That that's the problem. Like all the different brands of random shit. Well, she's buying so much fucking chocolate and why does she buy milk and everything? Three packets of cigarettes or something like that. Must be a giant fucking asteroid. Have all the agriculture and then a city out there. Got the suicide doors basically on that ship. I think there's a good balance of detail in the design of the series. Trying to tell me that's a reflection. There's gotta be a reflection in the city that they're seeing above them. Like directly above. Because you're in a crater, it makes sense that it goes up like crazy, but being a city being directly above them. Such 
such a wet noise for cracking your shoulder. I don't understand how these cops got here. Like the bounty hunters caught him, mind you, so maybe he was just a bit fucking stupid, but like the police got there in big fold. I always like those three guys as well. I like the way the cities are like a combination of culture. I know in the movie, the city is based on New York and Morocco. There's like those kind of vibes going on. One of the reasons why I've liked this series is because the fighting. The fighting feels dirty. It feels just heavy and gross, which, which is what I think fighting should feel like. I'm throwing tables, kicking chairs around and shit. Kicking each other in the fucking the ribs. The guy grabbing the, uh, the guy grabbing fucking Spike's throat. the guy in the mouth and everything. All the spaceships are so fucking cool. Spaceships have that fucking kind of like sea creature vibe to them, which I like. Jet's one is called Hammerhead, but the one that they're, the bad guys are in kind of looks more like a hammerhead to me, more of a shark vibe. through that's not an aqueduct and that's actually a road nope looks like it. maybe I don't know all the fucking glass going in his eye Jesus
It's so gross looking. It's like twisted. Even the Bebop itself is like an old um, shipping vessel that Jet like fucked with to get it into space like properly. But even that's fucking cool. That 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 idea. I think you could redo this series with, um, don't, no, don't fucking make me start the next episode. Alright, I'm, we're playing it through the whole fucking thing. Actually, we can, we can hit pause now. Watch credits. So we got another minute. I, I, what I really like about this series is... Like I said, is the fact that, like, everything's dirty. Like, there's dirt to everything. The fights, the fucking visuals, the characters. It's none of that stupid, like, fresh coat of paint shit that you get all the time. I don't understand why the graphic's freaking out. It wasn't freaking out yesterday when we were doing it. Remember? It's, like, really freaking out. Um, so we're going to do episode two here in a second. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope this is working. Having a little bit of trouble coming up with commentary here and there, mind you. I will be honest about that. Um, that's to be expected. I will do another countdown when we get to episode two. We're going to play episode one all the way through. Or to play all the episodes all the way through. I think the outros are nice. I just don't usually listen to them all that much. Oh yeah, and then we get the coming episode. <gasps> That's Orange episode. Next one. Oh, it is it's Stray Dog Strut next episode. Yeah, that makes sense. That's I never I I always forget that there's the little tidbits towards the end. All right, next episode. Let's go from the start. I'm not gonna skip the intro. Yep. There you go, Stray Dog Strut. This is the episode which we were introduced to Ayn and uh, what the fuck's his name. This is basically blackface. I don't know. All right. So on the count of 10, I'm going to hit play. And I'll say why you guys do the same. So uh, from 10 down to 1. And on 1, I'll hit play. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hit play. Not skipping the intro. Absolutely not skipping the intro. Netflix wants me to skip the intro. Does which is gross. Um, I think Iron is. I think you could. I don't know if you'd want to. It's one of those issues where I don't think you'd want to invest the money that you, it would need to redo the series from top to bottom. But there's a lot of space and wiggle room for filler, which is why I'm so surprised that Netflix is just dropped it 
Like, oh, it didn't work. Fuck it. Done. Like, not even... I guess it, was, it must have been so much fucking money. They must have spent a ridiculous amount of money. And only for it to not work. It's, it's fucking crazy. It did become number one, but I don't think... I think they want more than that. They wanted it to last longer. Such a fucking waste. Such a waste. One of these days, maybe we'll do live action Cowboy Bebop. Next time, maybe. I don't know. Next weird stream like this is probably going to be another editing stream, if I'm honest. <coughs> I, I like this episode. It's not my favorite, but I like it. I don't know what my favorite episode is. I like Mushroom Samba a lot. I like all the episodes, really. Yeah, Abdul Yakim. That's fucking huge. I think the series is really popular in the West because there's there's no fuck arounds. Like when when something gets dubbed, for example, the the bathroom scene, there's English written in there. Right? I think there's a bit of other languages, but there, it's not like Chinese symbols and then like that weird, like, basically, a graph, uh, comic sans replacement of English, which a lot of dub series do. Like, Big Shot. Like, I don't, I've never watched a series in outside dubbed. It just works so well. Yeah, like nothing, nothing gets lost in the text. Like it feels like it was written and designed in English for an English audience. Which I don't think many dubbed series have done. Another civilization living in a crater. Makes sense to me, too. You wouldn't be able to take over a whole fucking planet. It's, and that's a lot of resources just to get that up and running. That little crater. Look at the dirt. Look how fucking dirty and, like, filled with shit it is. It's crammed. But there's still spaces, like, for Hakeem to fucking sit in the road and not be surrounded by people. Fucking tall is this guy. Jinsen Heiso. Can't tell what that guy's accent is. Lao Chu and Jinsen.
see there's, there's Asian text here, but that makes sense. He's in like kind of like a Chinatown. Which by the way, I think it's fucking that that that's kind of weird. To call all those fucking Chinatowns but when most of it isn't Chinese. Too much automation also in sci-fi. In this series, you see like just people doing like dirty jobs. It's like, yeah. Imagine a few hundred years there's still people doing dirty jobs. I don't think we see that the there's a one running the garbage truck that we saw before, but I imagine it is a person. It's got a JoJo star. And they're on Mars. That's weird. a fucking huge fish for that kind of an aquarium. They just pause in the fucking bowl. I gotta crack that fucking safe like it was nothing. You see them everywhere. You never see another fucking corgi for the entire series. I wonder what exchange rate the Wulongs would be. There actually is a crypto of Wulongs, by the way, that is available. I've, I actually talked to the guy about it. He, he stopped doing stuff with it, and then I DM'd him about it when I was doing the Can We Be About Redux video. Mm -mm. <coughs> Like how Ayn goes straight for the guy's fucking neck. That giant fucking fish kills me in the, the little aquarium. Hold on. So I like all the different like factions, I guess, of the series. You got the bounty hunters and these science guys chasing people and shit. So many different types of people. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I like how Spike is able to charge to the fucking table and then the science guys get this shit. Mm -mm. I think the thing that Cowboy Bebop does that a lot of other sci-fi, the sci-fi genre in general doesn't do is um, Cowboy Bebop doesn't forget about culture and like yeah, people can settle on like a, a an asteroid or like Mars, for example, but they're gonna have a culture. They're gonna have their own way of doing things and everything. You know, like what colors matter, the way that they design bridges, buildings, um, like how canals flow, what food they eat, what they care about. You know. I feel like a lot of sci-fi doesn't give a shit about that. Like, I like Blade Runner, but could you really identify the culture of, like, the main city? Like, it's got, like, Asian twists to it or whatever, but it doesn't feel unique. It just feels kind of hodgepodge or just an advancement on one culture. I think the movie does it a lot better than the series, mind you. I think the Moroccan New York splice is really, really well done in the movie. But I think that's better because you get more time to look at it and breathe it in. Whereas the series kind of moves on quickly. Like, we're on fucking Mars. The last episode, we were on a shitty little asteroid. I've always liked Corgis, mainly because of this, because of Cowboy Bebop. Twelve. Ironic. This is the only dialogue in the entire series that I feel like has that really anime dubbed vibes where it's like just random shit, you know? All the cigarette brands in the series too. Jeff's smoking some like shitty little like baby cigar or whatever. The fact that they're not sticking to one brand. By the way, that's 100% true. I've asked so many, I asked on the Reddit to, for people to identify what the fucking cigarette is. Some people say Lucky Strike, some people say Marlboro, and there's so many different brands. Keep your, keep your eye out for that shit. We're only gonna be able to do three episodes today, um, cause I have to go do some stuff later today. I just found out. Um, but we can, maybe we can, can uh, continue with this. Maybe we can continue watching it. I don't know. I don't like the exact... I like... I'm gonna keep comparing it to Blade Runner because Blade Runner is just one that comes to mind as like a super popular science fiction series that combines and swashes colors together. Like there's so much neon in sci-fi. And this one, it's like everything's dirty. Everything, yeah, like just the fucking shitty little signs. Mm. That dialogue feels very dubby, you know, like kind of people having fun and fucking around in a, in a booth. I 
like the idea also that all the psychics and like um predictions or the i don't know what you'd call them psychics is the only word that, word that comes to mind but i don't think they're all called psychics i don't think you'd call the native guy a psychic maybe this guy but this the this like people who predict the future I like how they're all kind of like semi right. Pay you when I'm rich. Solid. Like there's again, this is another like it seems like a crazy example, but you'll notice it if you watch other sci fi stuff. Like these people are, are have actual dogs and birds. Like these are pets. In a lot of series, you have, like, the fucking, like, boss of dynamics dog or whatever. And there's a priest. There's a priest at a fucking wedding. It isn't just, you know, sign a piece of paper. The whole world doesn't become devoid of, like, cultural significance and meaning. It's fucked up. I think one thing that is a bit wrong maybe is there's not a lot of other spaceships flying around the cities but you you could just cut that up to being like only the people who need the spaceships are going to have the spaceships and it's like you're not going to have like crazy poor people like spike and jet for example they don't own cars like, even if they wanted to, they couldn't really afford the fucking cars and the shitty salary that they have. We all moon. Data dog. See, Ayn is fuck. They're even, they're telling you how fucking genius Ayn is, but like this fucking pup, it just allowed himself to get caught basically. But I don't know. Maybe that's like some part of some advanced plan in his fucking brain. He's got a busted jaw, and so he's bandaged up. I like that. I like that they're helping each other. Like they're 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 being cool. Like they're not not everyone's a fucking asshole. But people are still pricks. You know, they, they still look up for themselves, but they're not assholes. As mentioned, we're watching the credits. Credits keep going. I hope this is working. I hope you guys are thinking that this there's something here. This function. We're gonna do one more episode because, like I said, I have to do something. Uh, I think the next episode is like 24 minutes or something like that. So, because I have to go do something, we can only watch one. Um, we are gonna have a stream on Tuesday as per usual. We could continue this. 
or we could do a heavy editing stream um, because I have to do some stuff for an explain video. So maybe, maybe we'll do an editing stream on Tuesday, maybe. Depends on what I can get done today. If I can get done a lot of the editing today, then maybe not. So yeah, Tuesday streams up in the air, but if you guys want to continue what we're doing today on Tuesday, I have no problem with that. I, uh, excuse me. I highly recommend that you guys watch the series in full. Obviously outside the streams, it's good. It's a good series. You get to watch the preview where they break the fourth wall. I only watched the previews when they were, when it was live on TV. Oh, it's phase episode. Oh, it's Honky Tonk Woman next episode. Hey, all right, that's a good one. I think I think all the character introduction episodes are really really good. I like Jets the most. No Netflix. I want to watch it from the beginning. Fuck you. All right, we're on to episode three, Honky Tonk Woman. This is the last episode for today. Um, maybe we'll continue it in the future. Um, since we have graphics for six episodes, you can probably do another three episode three stream. Um, the series is short, so I mean, it would take it would take uh, several streams to get through the whole series. So we probably won't do that much. Um, however, I turn up Jibby a little bit because it's it's really really quiet. Um, I think it's pretty much even off. I don't even think you guys can really hear it. Um, Anyways, on, on one, I'm going to count down from 10. I'm going to hit play. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I will, I will try and get a timer for the next time we do this. So it's gonna, maybe we should take a little break from the watch long. See how this one does, how it performs, and then we'll do it and we'll try to do it better. We'll work on some things. Um, I'd really like to do it where I had like a character in the background instead of having just my enlarged VTuber thing. I don't know. I really want to make my own VTuber, but I, I got to learn how to use all that shit. Unity, Blender, all that stuff. I'm not really too word of the wise for that shit. I, I got to get into it. That or I could pay someone to do it, but I'd rather, rather learn as well. Could pay someone to teach me. Intro is done. City life. Shades are fucking weird. What 
What is here? Is this a tobacco shop? Is that what it is? Fucking Gatling gun. Why? What is that shop? I'm, I've seen shops like that in real life where they just sell these kind of like weird shit. I would have thought for sure that was a tobacco shop though. I like the, mu the way music blends in the series. Poker Alex, Alice. Queen of Hearts, but he has an ace. I think being, this is kind of a fet, a far fetched idea, kind of idea of a massive casino ring, but maybe yeah, I don't know. Two roulettes, four craps, eight kino. I like how Jet is like impulsive. I like how all of them, all of them are impulsive. And that's why they get fucked up so hard all the time. I like the way this casino is shown and the aesthetics, the smoky kind of haze that's on everything. Like there is a haze, like you can tell the minute that the elevator opens and it transitions, you got a haze. He's just chewing on it. The old trio. Five and a four. The fuck are they playing? Did I read that wrong? I'm pretty sure that was a five and a four. That's blackjack. That's only nine. They, uh, are they cheering because they didn't go? The fuck? That doesn't make any sense to me. Six. Nineteen was good. He immediately knows that she's cheating.
think with that cube one in the floating container is called Mahjong, but I'm not 100% sure. The likelihood of that shit is bullshit. I don't think you're allowed to do that. I don't think you're allowed to keep chips in a fucking casino. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Is the implication that he's already lost all his fucking chips, the other guy? Why is everyone paying attention to them talking? That's a bit weird, but whatever. He's talking pretty fucking loud. He really is like a fucking like carny act. Swan the cigarette and swan the coin or the chip. What a prick. Immediately throwing punches right away. I like the old sci-fi of the, the ships. I think it's fitting for Swordfish, which is Spike's ship, because it's, it's 10 years old or whatever. But I don't know how old FaZe is. FaZe is probably stupid old, too. See, look, Jet's fucking prediction, his psychic prediction, his fucking dreams was right. He won fucking big time. He won the jackpot for the fucking... Slot machines, I guess. I don't know what that is. I like how there's no like these no crazy fucking lasers and shit like that. It's no rockets and machine guns and stuff like that. I like the intermissions too. The intermissions are designed nicely. And there's like a docking station. Hmm.
200,000 Wulong. Yeah, that's pretty good. Went in with five. I guess in the other chip that we saw being scanned was the cruddy one that the guy that is now fucking dead had. I like how there's pretty much no other fucking TV series except for Big Shot. But why would why would they be fucked to watch the other shows anyways? Six mil. I don't think we're ever told how much her fucking pets are. So fucking weird. Again, that prediction was fucking right. That's. Oh, I'm trying to think if there's any predictions that are wrong. The flickering shittiness of the display screens is cool too. It's a nice added detail. I like the Wulong symbol too. The Wulong symbol is unique, but and but also like grounded. 
in reality, like everything else. Thirty million. Thirty million for something that's worth three hundred million. But I think Jet's smart enough to know that the police would never pay them probably jack shit, but especially three hundred mil. I like the way the fridge is designed too, the fridge is unique. Then from 5k to, what was it, 10k? Or no, it was 20k that Jet got. Then from 20k, they thought they were getting uh, 80k with Faye, and that became 8 mil. Now they're getting 30 mil for something that's worth 300 mil. That's a crazy increase. But fitting an episode, uh, fitting for an episode, it's all about. Man, she's a fucking pig. Fitting for an episode, it's all about a casino. Yeah, why wouldn't he just be like, send me the fucking Wulongs, like. A transaction through the ships. Hmm. Why just not? I never understood this in these kind of fucking situations in movies and shows and books. Just pay the fucking thirty mil. Not have to deal with it. No, no potential fuck ups. Nothing like that. Like he he risks losing the chip and the fucking money in this situation. Why risk anything? Pay the fucking money. Get the chip. Fuck off. Yeah, give the guy a gun maybe, just in case anything happens. But don't make him fucking use it right away. Don't be the app. that guy's fucking dead anyways. Bitch. Oi. Why would you go up towards the bullets? Why would you go like left or right? I don't know how much accuracy there is to there being trails to these rockets and everything like that, but they also are in like that kind of maybe low gravity because they're still going around the planet. <laughs> Only takes one to destroy that whole fucking thing. See, they're smart enough to know that the fucking the police won't give them the three hundred mil. I wish we got to know how much they made during that episode. All right, that's it for today. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it, this worked out well. Um, we might continue, like I said, we might try this again. Because we, we do have the graphics for six episodes, so we can at least do that with what we have now. Um, Monday's stream is up in the air. It depends on how much editing I get done today and on uh, Monday. Sorry, we're, it's Tuesday stream. So depending on how much I get done today and Monday, um, Tuesday might be a stream where we do editing together and we do it for the explain an explain video, either One Punch Man or um, Stardew Valley, maybe Stardew Valley. Um, I have a lot of image editing, some recording to do, and stuff like that. Um, I like showing you guys the process. I had fun, kind of, doing yesterday's stream. Um, I think there's some educational stuff in there that's kind of interesting for you guys. And I think that the just chatting streams can work. I mean, people do them all the time, so I don't understand why they can't work now. Um, Anyways, we'll be back on Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I had fun just sitting here watching Cowboy Bebop, obviously, and talking about it. I um, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Hopefully you were able to watch it as we watch it together. Um, let me know if you have any recommendations for other anime or even just random TV shows you want me to watch or watch together. Uh, let me know on Twitter or somehow on Twitch if you can. I'm not, I'm not really advanced on Twitch lingo, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye. MJ holding the monkey. Keep it moving, yeah. Keep it moving, yeah. Keep it moving, yeah. Keep it moving, yeah. I spill some honey, then I keep it moving, yeah. 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 I spill some honey, then I keep it moving, yeah. Keep it moving, yeah. Keep it moving, yeah.